Oh, would you look at that? I'm doing a bit of writing today. How rare is that? trying to get to grips with the last script that I submitted to the screenwriters group today. I did pop round to see Guppy earlier, but that was uh, interesting. Mm. Mm. Just to, you know, sort out a few things with, that, regarding the edit that we're doing at the moment. But for the rest of the day I've been trying to get to grips with this script and its flashback sequences and so on. Because, you know, there's, an, there's what was basically said, that everything's working alright, but the characters need to be made more... Mm, there needs to be more conflict between them. We kind of just... things happen and they kind of... there's the conflict's there but it's not really explained and so it's trying to get the things right and so I've been delving into a bit of theory and reading up on the monomyth and looking at the archetypes of the characters and stuff that are involved with the monomyth because I realised that the uh, character's main antagonist in the short film is basically a shapeshifter, which means that in each um, flashback that comes to the screen, the character should possibly be moving into a different kind of tar character archetype, basically messing around with the main character's head, just to make that conflict a little bit, you know, the first time he meets them, they're the mentor. The second time, something's revealed that just blows everything out of proportion. The third time, things kind of get a bit weird, and by the last time they meet, it's just like, yeah, what what happened here? You know, this isn't what was I thought we were doing this, but we're not. What's going on? That sort of thing, and obviously it's all interconnected with the main character's kind of interview, which is just him putting a spin on the. Uh, story in such a way that it makes it seem like it was not quite as it was. You know, the way he's spinning it is to make it seem very more frivolous and light-hearted, and oh, it's a bit of a lark in it, when actually what happened was detrimental to his character and his, you know, the way he's progressing in the world. And it's ridiculously hot today. So I've just been sat indoors just sweating and doing the writing stuff. Which, you know, I'm not one to sit down and kind of be like, oh, writing is pain, but today it kind of has been. It's just my brain's just tired and warm. So, yeah, that's me today, sweating and typing. Delicious.